Right now, we're dealing with you know temperatures in the 80s, probably low 80s right now. Wind out of the south, southeast at 15, maybe gusting to 20. Uh, kind of a high bluebird uh, situation, and we, we're right in the middle of a full moon. I mean, the moon pretty much cannot be brighter. It's this once in a blue moon kind of feeling right now. And in that situation, based on years of experience, we know that the deer are bedding up along these ridges and high places, in and around these live oaks, cool areas, you know, nice and cool. But as the sun begins to set and the shade gets longer down in the bottoms, that's where those deer are gonna go to. That's where they're gonna work their way down to feed on, on you know, different vegetation, or if you've got a, a feeding program going on, it could be around a man-made source. They could be looking for water in a nearby creek. And, and we know that because we've done it a lot in this area and others, and we've seen that pattern be successful. And in this case, we're gonna climb way up in a tree. I mean, we're really high in this tree, 22, 23 feet up. Now I'm hunting with a crossbow, so I gotta get them out there in a pretty good close-up area. The crossbow I'm hunting with is a 10-point vapor with a Garmin Zero scope on there that we're, you know, we're field testing it. We're learning about it right now. We're learning about all the nuances to it. It's very dynamic, it's very easy to use, and it's deadly accurate. I mean, you've got a, a menu-driven system that allows you to set it up to whatever bow speed that you're shooting, whether you're shooting a slow one or a fast one. But then once you get it uh, all mounted and dialed in, you can adjust the colors of the, the reticle, you know, whatever you're looking at doing. And the data screen that's available there and what it tells you and how to assist you in hunting, I mean, it puts you in a position to really have an ethical, clean harvest every time you pull the trigger. three other deer out here feeding and he came in and pushed him off totally. He's dominant. And uh, we passed on a young nine point that was a phenomenal big frame deer that we really liked for the future. But that, I mean, that was that deer there. I, as soon as I saw him coming through the brush, I was like, Kevin, that's, 
shoot it right there all day long. He kind of built around. And I didn't shoot him when after I first ranged him because you could see his leg was back. And you know, this will blow right through that. But when they're calm like that and they're feeding, you think you've got a time. Time, let them get that leg forward and open up. It just gives you so much more vitals. And I mean, a blood's just pouring out of that deer as he's running off. I mean, he's he's going to be dead right over there by that pond. That was awesome right there. I mean, you know, we're we're shooting that 10 point vapor right here, the RS470 with the Garmin Zero uh, crossbow sight. And we're really, you know, it's a it's a field test in, endeavor for us right now. We're actually shooting these for the first time. Uh, they haven't come out on the market now. By the time you see this, it's it's going to have been well launched. But you talk about fun to shoot with. I mean, it it ranges everything. You get to, you know, choose it, it'll lock the target, it gives you the, I mean, you're just perfect every time. There's so many features built into this that you can adjust, but, I mean, blood pouring out of that deer right there. Filling the freezer, putting another one in the man cave. That was cool right there. Well, that drove it all the way through. I mean, that is a brutally, I mean, we know the end results of this one just based on watching what happened. It totally went through blood all the way through. I mean, you can see the blood coming out of the deer when he was running out there. We've already, we spent about 20 minutes getting everything out. Down out of there, I've already gone and got the Wolverine. We're gonna walk up and recover this deer. I mean, he, he should not be very far up there, I wouldn't think. There he is right there. <laughs> there he is right there. He didn't go too far. I didn't think there'd be much there. The way that deer could go too far at all. Golly, that's so awesome. That never gets old. Never gets old. He is piled up and done. Man, he's got scars and scratches all over him. So, I mean, that is a fantastic testament to field testing 101 right there. Getting out in the field, trying this new Garmin Zero crossbow scope and all the features on it and showing you everything that it, that it does. We've got it rigged on the Vapor right here from 10 point. And this is a combination that it is the best combination you possibly could find if you were a crossbow hunter. There is no question in my mind. I've crossbow hunted for over 15 years now. And I've never seen a combination with this much energy, this much speed, this much accuracy, and you type, tap all that into the precision shooting you can do with this to know exactly where you're aiming every time. You have a Garmin 10-point combination that is gonna be lights out.